morning. <laughs> I lost my tripod last night. It broke, so I'm having to prop up this device so that you can see. I'm going to scoot back just a little bit. Happy Thursday. Thank you all so much for joining me. Um, as you'll see on the link, we have um, a link for our Zoom yoga classes. If you haven't booked one yet, you might consider doing that. We can make that, um, we can cater that to what you're wanting. Um, so that's a great, a great way to get some friends together and see each other. Um, so we'd love to have you join us for that. Um, and other than that, I just hope that everyone's staying well, finding some peace, finding some silver lining in this crazy chaos that we're in right now. So glad that you joined me today for yoga. We're going to get started. Just whatever is a comfortable position for you. Just a place where you can find some stillness. I like to close my eyes as I do that. Maybe you want to just soften your gaze, relax your focus. Just allowing your breath to come in and out however you like, however it's natural to start with. Just taking some deep, full breaths. to shift into your ujjayi breath, in through your nose, and out through your nose. Breathing in, and exhaling out with a gentle constriction of the back of your throat. Maintaining that ujjayi breath, that victorious ocean wave-like breath, and making your way up to a comfortable seated position. Again, just a place where you can sit up straight. Maybe that's with your legs crossed. Maybe you're sitting with your knees together or extending your legs out in front of you. And you can keep your eyes closed here or you can open them up, whatever is comfortable. Take your hands behind your back and then both hands over to your right hip. Kind of behind your back and over to the right side. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Maybe moving your chin up and down a few times. Go ahead, take a breath in. As you exhale, drop your chin to your chest and your hands right down the center. And we'll switch sides. Both hands over to your left hip. Drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Maybe moving that chin up and down. Drop that chin down, hands down the center. Take your right hand or your elbow to the mat or ground. Reach up and over with your left arm. Pressing both hips down as you reach. Good. As you inhale, stay over to the right side. Reach that left arm up and even open it up. Look toward the sky or the ceiling. Exhale, take both hands down, walk to the middle and pause right there. Elbows can bend, your head can hang heavy. And roll right back up to seated. Good, take your left hand or your left elbow down, reach up and over with that right arm. Again, pressing those hips down as you reach. Next, inhale, stay over to the left. Reach that right arm up, maybe open it up. 
Exhale, take both hands forward, walk to the center and pause right there. And roll back up to seated. Good, as you breathe in, reach those arms up. Spine is long and we're gonna twist. Take your left hand to your right knee, right arm behind your back. Staying twisted as you breathe in, lengthen like you're sitting up taller. As you exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Breathe it back to center, arms reach high. And we'll switch. Twist to the left, staying twisted as you inhale, lengthen. And on your exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Good. Breathe into center, reach those arms high, and on your exhale, make your way onto all fours. Taking those wrists underneath your shoulders, knees under your hips, moving through cow and cat here. Sometimes it feels good to flip your hands around, fingertips towards your legs. Breathing in, belly drops, look up. Exhale, round into cat. Good, inhale for cow, release, look up. Exhale into cat. Cleaning off my mat here, breathe in, release. Exhale, round. Good, come to a neutral spine here. Turn your fingers back to the front. Extend your right leg behind you and your left arm forward. I'm gonna turn to face you here. So you've got that balance and opposition. Now reach your left arm straight to the side. Reach your right leg straight to the side. So it's an awkward type position. We're gonna set your right leg down. Rotate your foot toward the sky or the ceiling as you come up. So that right leg is straight. Breathe in, reach both arms up. As you exhale, lean right. You can slide that right hand down your right leg, reaching up and over with your left arm. If you can touch the mat in front of your leg, feel free. Good. Breathe in, come back up to this gate pose. As we exhale, we'll go the opposite way. Take your left hand to the mat. Right arm up, you can lift that right leg. It's sort of a modified side plank. Or if you want to bend your knee, you can catch that right foot with your right hand. Good, release your leg, come back up to that gate pose as you breathe in. Exhale, take your hands down, bring that right knee in and round into cat. Breathe in for cow, belly drops, look up. Exhale, cat. Good, neutral spine, left leg back, right arm forward, finding that opposition balance. And we'll take right arm to the side, left leg to the side. Lower that leg down, rotate the top of your foot up, breathe in, reach high. Exhale, lean to the left, slide that left hand down your leg, reaching up and over with your right. Good, inhale back up. Go the opposite way, take that right hand down. Left arm up, option to lift your left leg. You can bend your knee, catch your foot. Good, come back up, breathing in. Exhale, hands down, knee in, round into cat. Inhale for cow, belly drop. Looking up. Exhale, cat. Good, neutral spine. Tuck your toes under as you inhale. Exhale, lift your hips high for down dog. Move how it feels good to move in your down dog. Walk it out. Maybe lifting both heels together and then pressing them down or dropping your heels to one side. Whatever your body needs this morning. Finding some stillness and strength in that down dog. Your fingers are spread wide. Palms flat on the mat. Rotate the insides of your elbows forward. Hips are high. Heels reaching down and your gaze is between your legs or towards your belly button. 
foot. As you inhale, shift your gaze forward and shift to plank or modified plank. You can always take those knees down. Good. Take an inhale, slide onto your tiptoes. As you exhale, go all the way down to your belly. Let your lower body relax and press your upper body up. However you want, you can stay with those elbows bent, shoulders away from your ears here. Try to relax everything from your rib cage down. Take a big breath in. Exhale, lower all the way down. Good, tuck those toes under in one unit. Press your body up to plank, breathing in. Exhale, lift your hips high for down dog. Take an inhale, look towards your hands and your feet will go there. Find a forward fold at the top of your mat. Pause there, knees soft. Maybe you hold those elbows and sway. Relax through your neck. Good. As you breathe in, pressing into your shins or reaching down for a halfway lift. Exhale, fold it deeper. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, press, half lift, long spine. Exhale, fold. One more, breathe it in. Lengthen. Exhale, fold. Good. Rise all the way up to standing. Big reach as you breathe in. Exhale, hands to heart center. So taking what we did at the beginning, hands behind your back. Take both hands over to your right hip behind you. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Again, maybe nodding your chin up and down a few times. Good. Next, exhale, drop your chin down. Hands down the center, switch sides. Good, exhale, chin down, hands down the center. Slide your right hand on your right leg. As you breathe in, reach your left arm up and over. Exhale, hands to heart, and we'll switch. Slide that left hand down, reach up and over with the right, breathing in. Exhale, hands to heart. Change it up here. As you inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull that left wrist to the right. Good. Inhale, center, reach up. Exhale, pull that right wrist to the left. Good. Breath in, reach high. Turn and look towards your hands. Exhale, dive it down to a forward fold. Breathe in for a half lift, long spine. You're going to reach for the mat. Plant your hands, step to that plank. Take an inhale, slide forward. Knees can drop down if you prefer. Exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga. Untuck your toes, press your body through, upward facing dog, or leave those thighs relaxed down for cobra. Exhale, toes tuck, hips lift for down dog. Let's take two more smooth vinyasas, just like that, and modify how you need. Breathe and come back to that shifted forward plank. Exhale, chaturanga, halfway down. Inhale, press your body through. Exhale, those hips go high. One more time, breathe it in, shift it forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, press. Exhale, hips high. Good, take a breath in, lift those heels up and just press them to the mat on your exhale. Again, heels up, breathe it in. Press them down, exhale. One more time, heels up. And this time as you press them down, walk your hands to your feet. Find that forward fold at the back of your mat. Relax into it. Good, heavy head and arms kind of ragdolling up. Roll to standing. Take a breath at the top, reach high. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, breathe in, reach up. 
and we'll twist left arm forward, right arm back. You can turn and look to that right hand or wrap your left arm in front, right arm behind you. Breathe into center, reach high. Switch as you exhale, twist. Breathe to center, reach high. Exhale, dive it down to a forward fold. Inhale for a half lift, look forward. Exhale, walk it out to plank and lower halfway, chaturanga. Press it to upward facing dog, we'll stay right here. As you exhale, look over your right shoulder. Breathe and bring your head to center. Exhale, look left. Inhale, center. Exhale, take those hips high for down dog. Good, breath in, press your heels to the mat. Maybe they touch. Exhale, slide to plank and squeeze your right knee into your nose. Go back to down dog, heels press down, breathe in. We'll do that same leg. Exhale, squeeze it in, plank, right knee to nose. Inhale, down dog. Exhale, squeeze your right knee in, make some space, plant your foot between your hands. Pause in this lunge here and look forward. You're gonna stand up and bring that back leg with you. Bring your left knee in. You can hold on to your leg. Or you can just lift it up without touching. Good, as you exhale, send your left leg back. Plant your foot. Reach those arms up, breathing in. Exhale, take your hands to the mat. Press into your palms, you're gonna sweep your right leg high. Three-legged dog. Right leg in the air, square hips. Good, as you exhale, squeeze that right knee to your nose, shift forward to plank. Inhale, send it high. Exhale, squeeze it in. One more time, send it high. Exhale, squeeze it in. Again, make space, plant your foot, look forward. Same thing, stand up, bring your left knee with you. Good, as you exhale, send that left leg back. High crescent lunge, arms up, breathing in. And we'll twist, take your left arm forward, right arm back. Good, inhale right here. Exhale, tip down. Take your left hand inside your right foot. Stack those shoulders. We'll take a side plank. You can kickstand that left knee down and step your right leg back. Or you can leave that left knee up. Stacking those shoulders and hips, breathe it in. Exhale, thread your arm under your body. Lift your hips a little higher. Open it up, inhale, stack those shoulders and hips. Exhale, reach. Inhale, open. Exhale, reach. Good, open it up, breathing in. Exhale, plank and chaturanga. Halfway down, elbows hug your rib cage. Press your body through. Take those hips high. Good, let's take three breaths here in your down dog. Heels up, breathing in. Press them down on your exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale, press. One more time. Good, exhale, press. Now changing it up here as you breathe in, press those heels down a little more. Exhale, slide to plank, left knee to your nose. Back to down dog, inhale. Plank, left knee in, exhale. Down dog, breathe in. Left knee in, make some space. Pinch your foot between your hands and look forward. Stand up, bring your right knee with you. Hold on to it or just let it hover. Good, exhale, send your right leg back. We'll plant your foot, find a high crescent lunge. Reach those arms up, breath in. Exhale, hands to the mat, press into your palms, sweep your left leg high with square hips, three-legged dog. Good, exhale, 
inhale, left knee to nose, shift forward. Inhale, send it high. Exhale it in. Breathe in, send it up. Exhale it in, plant your foot between your hands, look forward again, stand up, right knee comes with you. Good, reach that leg back, plant your foot again, high crescent lunge, arms up, breathing in. And we'll twist, right arm forward, left arm back. Good, breathe it in. Tip it down to the mat as you exhale. Stack those shoulders. Option to kickstand your right knee down and step your left leg back for a modified side plank or take side plank. Inhale here. Exhale, thread your arm underneath your body. Arc those hips higher. Breathe in, open it up. Exhale, reach. One more time, open it up. Exhale, reach. Good, inhale. Exhale, plank and chaturanga. Press your body through. Take those hips high. Three breaths in that down dog. If you want to add in an extra vinyasa, feel free. Otherwise, heels up. Exhale, press. Two more. Exhale, press. One more time. Exhale, press them down. Good, look forward as you breathe in. Take your feet there, forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthening through your spine. Fold deeper as you exhale. Rise all the way up to standing, reach high. Hands to heart. Good, set your feet up here for chair pose. So they're together or slightly apart, or some people even like to pigeon, to, pigeon toe their feet a little bit. Breathing in, <coughs> sit your hips back like you're sitting in a chair, reach your arms up. Take those hands behind your head, pull your elbows close. Press your head into your hands and your weight into your heels. Chest is lifted here. Good, as you breathe in, stand tall, elbows wide, lift your chest, press those hips forward. Exhale, take a forward fold, keep your hands where they are. Breathe in here, half lift, elbows go wide, press your head into your hands. Fold as you exhale. Do that again, inhale, half lift, like a little reverse sit up, exhale, fold. One more, half lift. Exhale, fold, release your hands to the mat, relax into that fold for a breath or two. Breathe in, halfway lift here, long spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step to plank. Breathe it in, slide forward. We're taking three push-ups this time, chaturanga, exhale. Press to plank, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Good, one more time, press it up. Exhale, lower, untuck those toes, press it through. Hips go high for down dog. Right leg in the air. Allow your hip to open this time. So you can bend your knee. Heel can press to the left. Maybe straighten and bend a few times. Circle it around. Whatever you need there. Good. On your inhale, lengthen through that leg. Press evenly into your palms. Exhale, right knee to right tricep. Shift forward. Inhale, send your leg high. Right knee, left tricep. Inhale it high. Exhale, pull it right down the center. Plant your foot and spin your back heel down. Look forward. Come up to warrior one. So shoulders are square. Hips are squaring. As you exhale, open your body, warrior two. Shoulders on top of your hips here. Flip that right palm up, reach high, reverse warrior. Good, as you exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Lift your back heel, we're gonna twist, left elbow outside of your right knee.
Use your elbow like a lever to really twist that spine. Step that right elbow on top of your left. Good, we're gonna inhale back to reverse warrior. So open it up, reach it back. That's your breath in. Exhale back to that twisted lunge. Two more times through that. If you'd rather stay in a pose, stay in a pose instead. Breathe in, twist or untwist, reach. Exhale, twist. One more time, inhale, reach. Exhale, twist, stay right there. We're gonna step your left foot to meet the right, staying twisted with your torso. Feet come together or slightly apart, back to that chair pose, but your upper body's twisted right. Untwist, stay in chair. Again, weights in your heels. Good, breathing in, legs straighten. Reach up, add in a little back bend if you like. Exhale, forward fold, dive it down. Breath in, <clears throat> halfway lift. Take your journey to down dog. You can add those extras if you want. Uh oh, sounds like some bowing starting. I'll just talk really loud. Take that left leg high. Open up your hip. Move it however it feels good to move. Breathing and lengthen through that leg. Press evenly into your palms. Exhale, left knee to left tricep. Shift forward. Inhale, send it high. Left knee, right tricep. Squeeze it in. Inhale it up. Exhale, pull it right down the center. Plant your foot and spin your back heel down. Look forward. Warrior one, rise up, squaring off. Exhale, open your body, warrior two. Flip that left palm and reach for reverse warrior. But as you exhale, hands come to heart center. Lift your back heel and we'll twist. Right elbow outside of your left knee. Again, that elbow is like a lever to help you twist. Left elbow points up. Good, feel free to stay in either pose or if you're with me, breathe in, come back to that reverse warrior. Exhale, back to that prayer twist lunge. Good, two more. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Good, exhale. Stay there. Step your right foot forward to meet the left, staying twisted with your upper body. Untwist, stay in chair. Good, as you breathe in, let those legs straighten. Add in a little back bend if you like. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, half lift. Take your journey to down dog. Take that right leg high, breathe it in, bend your knee, stack your hip, and if you want to flip it over, feel free to flip it over. Breathe in, come back to three-legged dog, right leg high. Exhale, step it through, plant your foot, we'll pause in this lunge like we did earlier. I'm going to fly into warrior three, left leg lifts, your upper body lifts. Making a capital T with your body. Oops. Arms wherever you like. Good. Now as you breathe in, stand up and bring your left knee with you. Left hand to your left knee, open it out to the side. If you want to reach for your big toe and extend your leg, you can do that. I'm going to 
to keep opening it up, find warrior two. Flip that right palm, reverse warrior, and straighten your front leg. So reverse triangle or sky archer. Go ahead, release those arms, legs stay straight, lean forward, tilt or tip your body into triangle pose. Right hand can come anywhere along your right foot or to the ground, left arm up. Good, big breath in here. Exhale, take your left hand down. Lift your back heel, we'll sink into a lunge and twist, right arm up, inhale. Same thing as earlier, take any version of side plank. Extend your left knee down or step or carry that right leg back. Good. Exhale, come to plank. Squeeze your right knee into your chest and kick your right leg out to the left side. Left arm up. So you're in fall and triangle. So you're gonna just let your body sit down here. Adjust your legs a little bit so you're in a straddle position. So you're kind of facing the side of your mat, maybe sort of even at a diagonal. Breathe in, sit up tall. On your exhale, let your body round forward between your legs. Maybe that's just hands in front, head drop down. Maybe you can walk down to your elbows. We're spending a few breaths here, relaxing into this pose. Press your body back upright. We're going to come back to the front of your mat in a pike position. Bend your knees. Start to lean back and find boat pose. You can keep those heels on the mat if you want in your boat. Hands can come right behind your knees. Lift up. Arms reach. Legs extend. Whatever works for you. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, you're going to slowly lower all the way to your back. Take your time. Give yourself a few breaths. Good. Once there, take an inhale. Reach those arms and legs long. Exhale. Hug your knees in. You'll make your way all the way to down dog. You can come up, you can step it back, you can hop it back, however you want to get to that position. We'll take three breaths in that down dog, heels up, breathing in, press them down, exhale, two more. One more breath. Good. Breathe in. Send your left leg high. Exhale. Step it through to a lunge. Plant your foot and pause right there. Look forward. Warrior three. The right leg lifts. Arms wherever you want. Good. Inhale. Stand up. Bring your right knee with you. Right hand to your right knee. Open it out to the side. If you want to extend that leg straight, extend it out, reaching for your right big toe. Go ahead, keep opening it up. Find warrior two. You're bent into your left knee. Flip your left palm and reach for reverse. And then straightening your front leg. Keep reaching for that reverse triangle pose. Good. Arms release. Legs stay straight. Lean forward. Tilt or tip into Trigonasana. 
Triangle pose. Right hand can, I'm sorry, left hand can slide down your left leg. Or come all the way to the mat. Right arm up. Good. Exhale. Both hands come down. Lift your back heel. Sink into a lunge. Send that left arm up for a twist. We're going to open your left side up for side plank. Any version of that side plank. We forgot to flip our dog on this side, so we're going to take it now. If you want to take that left leg behind you, by we I mean I, flip into wild thing. Good. Come back through side plank and over to plank. Squeeze your left knee in. Kick your left leg out to the right side. Right arm reaches up for fall and triangle. Good. Allow your body to sit down. I'm going to turn and face you. So adjust those legs again for a straddle. Breathe in. Sit up tall. Exhale. Let your body round forward between your legs. Maybe just head, maybe you come all the way to your elbows. Good, press your body back upright. Come back to the front of your mat in a pike position. And then bend those knees, start to lean back, find your boat pose. Good, on your next exhale, start to slowly lower. Take a few breaths. Once you're on the mat, take an inhale, stretch those arms long. Exhale, hug your knees in. Make your way to down dog. Good. One more standing series here. Take that right leg high as you breathe in. Exhale, step your foot through, plant it, and look forward. Again, we're going to stand up, bring your left knee with you, and extend your left leg in front of you. You can support your hamstring with both hands. You can let that leg hover, or you can reach for your big toe, taking a nice stretch, a twisted stretch. Good. As you exhale, release that leg. Send it back to warrior three. Squaring off here in that warrior three. Breath in. Now exhale, reach your hands to the mat. Send your left leg higher for a standing split. Scooting back a little bit here. Take some time here to play. Take what you want or need. Maybe that's just pedaling it out a few times. Maybe you want to bind. Touch your foot with either hand. Maybe you want to take a low squat down. Or put some weight in your hands. Play with practicing a handstand in a safe space where you're not going to fall over and kick anybody in class. Good. Lengthen through that left leg. Come back to standing splits. Exhale. Find a forward fold. Lift those heels up and sit all the way onto your heels for toe balance. You can stay just like this. Or again, take this into a balance if you want to play with crow pose. Hands to the mat, fingers spread wide. You make that chaturanga shelf or just enjoy that toe balance. Your heels are lifted high. It's like you're sitting on your heels, stretching through the arches of your feet. Give yourself a few breaths here. Good, and then you'll take your journey to down dog. Get there however you like. Breathe it in. Exhale, step it through, 
plant your foot and look forward. Stand up, bring your right knee with you and extend that leg in front of you. Again, feel free to support your hamstring or reach for your big toe, maybe even incorporating a twist. Good. release that leg, send it back for warrior three. Breath in. Reach for the mat, send that leg higher, standing split, and take whatever you want or need right here. Maybe squeeze it in, maybe catch your foot. Lengthen through your leg as you breathe in. Right leg meets the left, heels up, sit down into your toe balance. Same thing here, maybe just enjoy that toe balance or play with another kind of balance, headstand, crow pose. Good, and when you're ready, you'll take your last vinyasa, your last journey to down dog. And child's pose from there. Sitting down onto your heels, letting your body rest on or between your legs. Take a couple minutes here into a stretch that opens up your hips. So I'm going to give you a couple options. One would be butterfly pose. And I'm just turning sideways so you can see better. Soles of your feet together, knees apart. In butterfly, the closer your heels are to your body, the more you're going to feel it in your hip flexors. And the further your heels are from your body, the more you'll feel that in your hamstrings. So coming to whichever is a good option for you. If instead you'd rather take frog pose, Feel free to come up and over onto all fours. In frog pose, your hips are in line with your knees, and then you're inching those inner thighs down to the mat. Still this. Sorry about that. I told you my tripod broke this morning, or actually last night. There we go. So finding some stillness in either pose and breathing. I've ordered a new one. It'll be here as soon as Amazon gets it here. It doesn't matter if your feet come together behind you or if they're just extensions of your knees. It's whatever's better for you. It's also not going to hurt you if you sit your hips back. It's just a different kind of feeling. But the idea of the pose is this one long line from knee to hip. A few more breaths, finding that stillness in your pose. Good, and then gently releasing your body from whatever pose you're in. If you're in butterfly, sitting back upright. If you're in frog, bringing those legs together. We're gonna transition onto our backs. Hugging your knees in once you get there, rocking side to side, pressing your lower back down. Drop your knees to the right for a twist, maybe even crossing your left leg on top as you twist to the right, especially if you were in that frog pose where your hips were open. That should feel good to close it off in that twisted root spinal twist.
then switch sides. to center, taking any final movements that you need, any final poses, ultimately coming to your Shavasana, finding some stillness. So I'm going to sit up, but you can stay on your back. Allow your body to relax. Appreciate and enjoy the work that you've done for it. The love that you search for everywhere is already present within you. It may be evoked by any number of people or events. A mountain can evoke this love. A sunset can evoke this love. But finally, you must realize that you are this love. The source of all love is within you. Bringing some movement back to your body. to a comfortable, easy seated position. And we'll inhale together, arms reach high. Exhale, hands to heart center. With love and gratitude from my heart to yours. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me, for joining SALT this morning. Um, again, those Zoom yoga classes, we love doing them. So schedule those if you're interested. Um, I hope that you are staying well, staying centered. Uh, focus on your breath. If ever you need to come back to it, just take a moment and find that stillness again. So, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your Thursday. Sorry about the camera situation. I'll have my tripod, I think, by next week. <laughs>